Genia Cooney. Now this popped up in my recommended and I was like, this would be kind of an interesting video because it's so opposite end of the spectrum from where I was up over 600 pounds and this girl looks like she might be 60 but also she's been on the internet for quite a while and you just like you see her and you want to help her but she's sitting here saying she doesn't need help and her family says she doesn't need help from what I see it looks like she needs help or maybe she just has some things she's got to work through I don't know the girl I wish I could help her in some way I mean you need help gaining weight Sean's got you right here I can go back to Shauna Cheesecake real quick, teach you how to put some pounds on, but yeah, let's just see kind of what's going on in her psychology. Whose channel is this again? Smart Psych. It popped up in my recommended and it looks interesting, so let's give it a go. Whilst Eugenia is known for her incredibly thin physique, there's something even darker going on beneath the surface. To be able to understand what's really going on, we need to go to May 2013, which is Eugenia's first public video on YouTube where she shows off some of her favorite outfits and it is clear that she's very thin. In these early Okay, but there she's thin, but you can't see the McDonald's arches on her collarbone. Like, I, I wish, man. My collarbone's like kind of starting to pop out and I was pumped when I saw that. Videos, Eugenia comes across as quite a bubbly character and she's fairly articulate in her speech. This is what I wore on Saturday, so I have a bodysuit on with this fringe jacket. Keep in mind at this point, Eugenia's fans can actually be seen in the comments engaging with the content in a meaningful way. As the years go by, Eugenia continues to upload similar content. However, with each video, Eugenia seems to become slimmer and slimmer. Until her she definitely looks like one of those panic at the disco, like, I come in like one of those well, she's got like the scene kid hair and all that so yeah I know that whole click but ah, man I still I can't I feel so bad for the girl man her bones can be seen and fans begin to flood the comments with their concerns for Eugenia's mental state in more recent years fans have noticed that the weight loss has taken a real toll on her physical health some have pointed out that her speech has got higher in pitch and squeakier and that she seems to struggle to articulate what she wants to say some people are really good at finding private info, and that's true, 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 James. Some have also pointed out that her legs are red in colour. Eugenia, your knees are purple. Oh my god, that's just heartbreaking. Like, my damn wrist is bigger than that. And also, I think her stuttering like that is probably just her brain like shutting down like we need calories we need some kind of energy and it's just not getting it because she's eating air but that's the hard thing about eating disorders like she would probably tell you nothing's wrong with her and it so obviously is like don't worry guys i think my knees are fine <laughs> sorry if they look a little purple to some people right now Eugenia has also been observed to be having some sort of seizures whilst on her streams, which she actually denies. I move my arm and then I'm having a seizure to some people. That's another thing people like to say lately is that I'm having a seizure, which I definitely have not any, had any seizures on stream. So, what has Eugenia said about all of this? In the earlier days of her internet career, Eugenia does not really address her slim appearance so much. However, in a YouNow clip from 2016, Eugenia tells fans that she's naturally skinny and she denies being unwell. I'm just kind of like naturally like this, I guess. Like, here they are, another MC horse face thing that is not natural and that I'm sick. So she's probably just struggled with like her self-image her entire life because she's pretty young in these clips, I believe. And that's not something that gets better. You could be, you know, hundreds of pounds overweight and struggle, or you could be underweight and struggle. The thing is, is everybody's different for a reason. If everybody was the same, it would be pretty damn boring. So you kind of just got to embrace who you are as a person and just be the best you you can be. But this girl, I, I just, like, I want to help her, but there's nothing I can do aside from, like, teach her how to eat a bunch of junk food. That's all I got. No, I, I'm, I'm really not. I don't know what your problem is. She seems really happy when reading out comments from fans telling her she looks very thin. Why am I so skinny? I guess this is just me, something. <laughs> um. In 2016, fans become increasingly worried for Eugenia, and a change.org petition titled Temporarily Ban Eugenia Cooney Off of YouTube goes viral and receives 18,000 signatures. This prompted Eugenia... I get it because it's hard to watch, but you're also talking about a girl who probably takes a lot of her self-worth 
from being on the internet and being the social media star, even if it's negative attention, that attention's probably like something she craves and it might just get worse if you take that from her. But I get it. It's hard to watch somebody who's struggling like, uh, man, it's just, I don't think there's no, any right answer here. It's just going to take a lot of therapy and I'm not qualified to give it, but I'm just saying something is clearly wrong. Genia to upload a video titled, I'm sorry, in which she describes the comments she receives as hate and anger and she tells fans she's fine. It's just been like a ton of kind of like hate. Guys, seriously, I'm definitely fine. <laughs> I'm definitely not dead or gonna die right now or anything like that. So don't worry, I'm alive, I'm okay. <laughs> Eugenia maintains this narrative over the next few years, despite posting a lot of outfit videos in which she shows off her body and it's clear she- I'm kind of shocked that she does that. Also, she's wearing like a balloon, right? That's a water balloon, literally, but they all, she's knocking on Death's door. The only reason Ed and like come to get her yet is because it probably can't hear her knocking because she's so damn weak. Me? They could hear my big ass breathing on the other side of the door. Like they were waiting for me to come through that door. So you're lucky. You're lucky that you've got this far without something serious happening. I, I don't know. She, maybe she's been hospitalized, but it's so clearly like an issue that somebody's gonna have to address it. It's gonna have to be you. Nobody can do it for you, but it seems like everyone around her just kind of encourages it, so. She's still losing more weight. She tells fans that her doctor thinks she's fine and that there's nothing wrong with her. My doctor thinks I'm totally fine and there really is nothing to worry about, but just like a lot of people online like to talk about me for some reason like that. Then in 2019, Eugenie's online activity becomes more infrequent, raising concerns among her fans. Until on February the 10th, Eugenia announced on her Twitter account that she was taking a break in order to work with her doctor privately. It then became known that Eugenia was put on a psychiatric hold and sent to a locked medical facility for a month long treatment program. This is because her Is the treatment program probably a good thing for her? Yeah, I would say getting out of the environment she's in probably would be good for her. But at the same time, like I said, this is what she drives and like this is what she knows. This drives the attention. She. It probably makes it better and worse at the same time because she probably enjoys being on social media. But any person, because there's trolls out there that are probably commenting, huh, you look like you gained weight. And that would absolutely make her spiral. So it's dangerous. It really is. A friend and fellow YouTuber, Jacqueline Glynn, raised the concerns with the authorities. We, we did an intervention and the mental health professionals showed up. They could have walked away and said everything is fine, but they were they were like really concerned. So they ended up deciding that they wanted to take her into care and they ordered something called a 5150 and it, it's mandatory. They, they take you involuntary without, hold. Yeah. This chapter of Eugenia's life. I'm pretty sure it's like a three day hold when you get 5150. I know people who it has happened to. It's not a nice experience, but at the same time, the whole internet's been screaming, somebody help this girl for the longest. And I don't know why nobody's been able to step in so far. Because if it were my family and I was on that end of the spectrum, I feel like they would be friggin' like dripping sugar in my mouth while I'm asleep or something. Life was documented by successful YouTuber Shane Dawson, who released an hour long YouTube video in July titled The Return of Eugenia Cooney. In this video, Eugenia confirms the decade-long speculation about her eating problems and admits to being unwell. So, yes, um, I was like dealing with an eating disorder. This video was received very well by fans, who expressed their relief that Eugenia had finally got help and had seemed to put on a little weight. Eugenia made some follow-up videos, updating viewers on her progress, including documenting I mean, that's a good thing. Shane needed a good PR. Uh, that was my introduction to her, right? And I'm pretty sure, like, my girl came in and she saw me watching Shane Dawson for, like, a whole weekend. She's like, you watch this gay guy awful a lot. Like, is there something you need to tell me? And I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> ...what she ate for breakfast, which seemed promising to her fans. However, since then, fans have noticed that Eugenia seems to have lost weight again and has stopped being so open about the recovery process. Several clips have emerged from her Twitch streams where she appears to be again in denial about her eating problems. But in Shane's video, you said it was an eating disorder. Was that a mistake or is that what you thought people wanted to hear? Um, maybe I didn't use correct terms. When I was like gone, like I wasn't told really specifically, like 
you have this, you have this problem. But didn't you say in the Shane doc that doctors were surprised you were still Yeah, because they were doctors that weren't really that familiar with me in the past, guys. Like, they were- Nobody has to be that familiar with you. Anybody could look at you and see, okay, this girl's got some form of eating disorder, maybe. I'm not a doctor, but I think there's probably some medical conditions that would lead to weight loss, but not to this extent. Like, you probably haven't ate in days at some points, maybe even like a week. She might just be having water and that's it. And that's what's so hard to watch, because you want to help her. There's nothing you could do until she wants to do it, right? Damn, her wrists are so small. Oh my god. I had a new doctors to meet. Going back to when you came back in 2019 was a Twitter statement about, yeah, that was all scripted. Like, literally. Um, it was like written for me. Yeah, I was like literally told exactly what to say. Overall, Eugenie's attitude towards recovery and getting help seems to have done a complete 180. Stand 10 toes on the fact that you never wanted help? I will. I, I didn't really, being honest. She maintains the belief that her friend Jacqueline shouldn't have approached the authorities and got her help and holds a very- I think your friend Jacqueline's the only one that was actually trying to look out for your best interest. I don't know if everyone else in your life's just yes men or whatever, but obviously you need the help, sweetie. Like, just maybe some time away from the internet would be best for her. I don't see this ending well if she doesn't get that because I don't think she can deal with the constant like criticism and all that on the internet negative view of her time in rehab. Her mom was cursing at Jacqueline. So did she call her the B word? Yeah, she did on the phone. Since Shane's Breakfast? video, Eugenie has reverted back to posting outfit videos where she shows off her body and seems to be body checking. Eugenia does swimsuit hauls and models revealing clothing showing off her legs, chest and stomach. Her thumbnails are usually quite shocking, exposing her slim physique and drawing the attention of the viewer. Many people because she knows that that's going to get the attention of everyone, right? She posts this picture, she's wearing a swimsuit, people are going to click that. It's going to drive engagement. But at the same time, she has to be self-aware of what's going on, right? People accuse Eugenia of doing this deliberately in order to gain as much attention as possible. But when I fans so. express concern, she accuses them of bullying and hate. I just have noticed that lately there's just been like a ton of kind of like hate. Eugenia continues to exhibit physical health problems such as redness in her limbs and coughing episodes on camera. <laughs> Damn right, sweetie. Now your body's struggling to keep down air and you're in real trouble. This is just, it's not going to get any better until somebody does something, man. That's what drives me nuts here. However, she seems to constantly make excuses and tell fans that she is fine. You don't have to worry about me because, you know, I really feel like I'm doing fine. She actually can be seen laughing when fans comment on her Twitch streams worrying that she's going to die. Billy girl, thank you for the three months. I'll try not to. Thanks for not wanting me to die. Um... <laughs> I honestly think everyone wants best for you, so I don't think there's a person out there that just wants you gone. A lot of people are rooting for you, honestly. I know I want to see you get better, so... Yeah. Sadly, it is clear that Eugenia is struggling with her eating problems and strong feelings of denial. I wish Eugenia could be like this again. Well, too bad, because she's not probably ever going to be like that again, so too bad. Sorry. Fans continue to encourage her to seek help and get the right support that she needs. Knowing all of this, let's look at the psychology behind Eugenia's struggles. Although only a medical professional can diagnose Eugenia, it seems that she still struggles with the eating problems that she- Bro, when you're holding the Keyblade and it's bigger than your arm. Oh my god, that's like a shower rod for an arm. That's crazy, she's got to be struggling to even lift herself up out of that chair. Poor girl, man. She was treated for back in 2019. To understand what's caused this prolonged and difficult battle, we need to look at her childhood, which was pretty lonely. Eugenia reportedly didn't have many friends and was often the victim of bullying at school, which caused her to switch schools multiple times and later be homeschooled. I switched schools a couple of different times when I was in school because I just had a lot of really bad experiences and sometimes I just really, really felt like I couldn't deal with it. In a video uploaded, Childhood's brutal, but switching schools probably didn't make it any better because then you're the new kid again. I never had to deal with that. I always went to the same schools growing up. Like, 
elementary, middle, high school. I never switched schools, but I could imagine that was tough on you and probably is why you ran to the internet for like all that validation and all that. But still, it's tough. I want to see the girl get better, man. I, there's nothing else I can say because nothing I say really even matters to her, right? She's heard it all a million times. I did in 2019. Eugenia revealed that bullying was something I dealt with pretty severely from the time I was six, basically all the way through to high school. She speaks of being hit in the head with objects, pushed against the wall and kicked under the table. People hit me in the head with yo-yos and I got like pushed against a wall a couple of times. Other children would also make fun of what she would wear and how she would do her makeup. But I would just wear like some eyeliner or whatever. Later I would have people like calling me emo, which I don't really even think is like a I mean, I kind of called you that a little bit earlier. I was seeing it. You got this whole nightmare before Christmas eyeshadow thing going on. But yeah, what the hell were you doing under the table? And who was having a yo-yo death match in high school? Like, that's weird. A bad thing. But people would try to say it in like a really like negative, like not so nice way towards me and kind of like be really mean about it, I guess you could say. Crucially, Kids are mean. Eugenia would also have others compare their bodies to hers by pulling up their shirts and saying how they were skinnier and prettier than her. Like people also that would kind of make like body comparisons between me and them and be like, like kind of like, like pull up their shirts and be like, look, like I'm like so much skinnier, skinnier than you. Wait, did you girls do that? Because I think as men, the only thing we picture is you guys in like the locker room showing each other your boobs being like mine are bigger than yours. I think that's just something us guys think happens in there. But all we do as men, we're like, let me see your forearm. That thing's rock solid. You've been jacking off a lot. Like that's what little boys do. They, that's what we talk about at least. Maybe that was just my experience. But there's got to be some guy that knows what the hell I'm talking about. You're like, I'm like a lot prettier than you. Other kids even use Facebook to call her ugly and laugh at how pale she was. Saying like, oh my gosh, like hey. Eugenia is so ugly. She's like Casper the ghost because I'm like really pale. Eugenia has said that these comments and comparisons have built up over time and started to affect her. And her body confidence was pretty low during this time of her life. If anything, I probably Damn. didn't really feel the best about myself, especially like when I felt like I constantly had people saying some not so nice stuff to me. I think the super morbidly obese and then the super skinny like this can relate on that because you're going to beat yourself up mentally more than anything. You're always your own harshest critic and I could say that a million times. But also I think Casper probably weighs more than this chick. It's insane to see how skinny she's got. Junior has said that children would gang up on her in school and turn against her. For this reason, she began to feel like there was something wrong with her. Eugenia pursued modeling for a brief time in New York. However, after being asked to remove her online presence and feeling over-controlled, Eugenia decided to instead focus on her online career. Eugenia has also said that in school, other girls would tell her that she would not succeed as a model and that she was not pretty enough and did not wear the nicest of clothes. She just kind of randomly told me one day, she was like, so you want to be like a model, right? And I was just kind of like, yeah, I guess. And then she was like, well, you can't do that for two reasons. Number one, you're not pretty. And number two, you don't wear pretty clothes. It is clear that I also think chicks are catty and they'll just say you're not pretty, even if you are. But you women are brutal in the ways you tear each other down. Men will just make fun of each other and rag on each other. Women, I feel like you guys are trying to rip each other's hearts out when you go for the kill. That the bullying Eugenia faced from a young age impacted on her self-image and it's likely to be one of the factors in developing the eating problems. I think like with bullying, it really can kind of like lead to like eating disorders and self-harm. I'm not trying to see if people are causing the problems. It can kind of like contribute to like depression and anxiety and a lot of mental health problems. So now we're going to look at Eugenia's family in order to get a better idea of what her upbringing was like. Fans have expressed their concerns over the years about Eugenia's I mean, her mom's not exactly skinny here. She's not like super morbidly obese. She's not next on Dr. Now's table or anything, but she's also not super skinny. Uh, but also, she looks like a witch right there in the bottom one, man. That's like some evil scowl type thing. She looks like she's gonna friggin' bite her. That's scary. Mom, in a live stream during 2020, Eugenia asks her mom's permission to go upstairs and collect her games console. Is my Switch still upstairs? Can I, like, get it? Some fans have pointed what? out that Eugenia is an adult who still lives at home, doesn't drive, and seems to have to ask her mum for permission to do simple things like this. I've never really, like... Yeah, why would you have to ask to go upstairs? Now, you definitely want to knock on your mother's door before you, like, barge in there. I've been scarred by some shit I've seen as a kid. 
I got to be careful too. My mom started watching these things. So I'm not going to tell y'all what, but lock the damn doors or something. Like moved out before, so yeah. During Shane's documentary, fans were also concerned by the large metal bar that's put across the door to lock it. It's very, <laughs> it's very heavy. Oh. Yeah, there was a... Oh my God. <laughs> See, that's what my mom needed for the fridge to keep me out. She put one of these little cheap chains on there with a padlock. I was in that shit so fast. Oh, yeah. Some went as far to say that Eugenia is being kept locked up. Eugenia's mum has appeared in quite a few of her videos. Oh, the cake and video. And known to film and take pictures for Eugenia. But I have my light up Miku shoes on now. Now I can move on. By supporting her online activity, in which she flaunts her slim physique in revealing outfits, many fans worry that Eugenia's mum is encouraging Eugenia's behaviours. Some speculate that she takes a percentage of Eugenia's earnings or receives gifts from Eugenia. And this is why she supports what Eugenia does online. 30% 30 off. off. Oh, oh thank you. Perfect. I mean, she probably just says, like, Eugenia, you're going to eat too. You got to pay for the groceries. And then she eats it all and gets bigger. But she's getting some kind of benefit out of this. And that's a joke and a very serious topic, but this is just effed up the whole way around. The girl clearly needs help. She's struggling with her self, like self-worth, her everything about her she's struggling with. And the internet just compounds all of that. It makes it that much worse because people pick you apart from every friggin' angle. Whose is that? Stella McCarthy. Oh yeah, she has some nice ones. That is pretty. Additionally, Eugenia's mum has made some worrying comments about Eugenia's size on camera. For example, calling her skinny mini and saying that she's not concerned about Eugenia's health. How is your your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? You're a batshit crazy lady. Like, this is the biggest smile I've ever seen for someone that's seriously hurting on the inside. And I never got called skinny mini, but chubby tubby, maybe my mom called me that once or twice, you know? Exactly. She happens to be skinny mini, but she does take exactly. skinny Exactly, we're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. In one video, Eugenia also claims that her mom disapproves of fans worrying about her weight, advising Eugenia that they're bullies. She ignored chat. Yes, no, my mom's not concerned about- Look at chubby tubby little pug here, buddy. He ain't missing a single begging strip. He must be getting her leftovers, man. That dog's beefing up. Oh, my weight. No, that was their question. I've known her my whole life. I know her blood work and her doctor's appointments and everything check out good. I'm not concerned. Fans have thrown around several other accusations, calling her mum creepy, mentally unstable, saying she's abusing alcohol or even using drugs. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. However, this... I don't know if that's... what. What is that? That's that shit. That's those uh things for... uh God. Those serotonin things the, for depression. That's what the hell that is. It's not Lyrica. I can't think of the name of it right now. It starts with the L. This is all speculation, and there's no real evidence to support these claims. No, I mean because of their issues with... Uh, my mom doesn't have issues with alcohol. One thing for sure, though, is that Eugenia really needs a positive support network around her during this difficult time in order to help her have the best shot at recovery. Whilst Eugenia has seemingly relapsed and continues to struggle, she does not talk about her ongoing difficulties at the moment, and so it's difficult to know what is really going on. However, we can only hope that one day soon she is ready to get further help and that she has the full support of her friends and family in doing so. Thank you for watching this video. If you did it, I mean, I think that's part of the problem, right? Everyone has picked her apart for her weight so long on the internet. Her mom's reinforced that it's fine. And now she's sitting here and she's got to wonder because she's got so many followers. Like, who's really in it to help her? Who's in it for some kind of ulterior motive? And it's just, it's tough to find the true friends and not the ones that are going to act in bad faith. Your mom? She needs something done with her. Because if she could sit there and say, I've been to all your doctor's appointments, you're fine. She's out of her damn gourd. Like, it's crazy. But at the same time, I mean, you got to relate on a certain level. If you've ever struggled with a weight issue, overweight, underweight, it's just two sides of the same coin, right? So everyone kind of struggles with that, especially with their weight. But it's sad to see somebody on that end. I've never been underweight ever in my damn life. 
And I feel for this girl more than I do on anyone on the My 600 Pound Life, because you can lose weight or whatever, but that self-image issue, if you can't address that, it's just kind of, it's going to be impossible for, for her to ever put on weight. But alright guys, that's just a uh, dive into Eugenia Cooney. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye.